Nice to meet you again. Yeah, welcome back. Yeah, I'm Hiroshi Nakano. Please call me Hiro. I'm the, my, this is my profile. Uh, I'm the author and writer and 33 books and a professor and many, many students uh, and YouTuber. Yeah, I have the four kind type of the YouTube channel. Uh, one main channel is uh, one, about 100. 50,000 subscriber. Yeah. yeah, this channel is uh, only uh, about uh, 280 or so. Yeah, this is because of uh, Japanese culture, uh, Japanese custom. I'm not a good English speaker, but I try. This channel is uh, for me to brush up my English ability. Please subscribe this and uh, please uh, you are interested in the Japanese culture. Okay. Today's topic is uh, what time is what time? Okay, Japanese language. Okay, what time is Japanese language is nanji. Nanji means what time? Okay, I show you the Japanese way that nanji means uh, ichiji. Okay, ichiji. It is one o'clock. Ichiji and two o'clock. Niji. Ichiji. Niji. Two o'clock. Three o'clock is. Sanji, Sanji, and four means Yoji, Yoji, and five is Go, Goji, and six, Rokuji, six is Rokuji, and seven, Shichiji, Shichiji, and eight, Hachiji, Hachiji, okay, and nine, Kuji, Kuji, G means the time, Juji. 10 is Juji. 10 is Juji. And 11 is Ju Ichiji. Ju Ichiji. And last 12 is Ju Niji. 12 is Ju Niji. Okay, once again, please leave it after me. Ichiji. One clock. Ichiji. Niji. Sanji. Yoji. Goji. Rokuji. Shichiji. 8時, 9時, 10時, 11時, and 12時. Okay, it's very perfect, okay? Do you understand? This is the time and it's, yeah, this watch, this watch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, okay. Yeah, thank you for listening to my best. Yeah, please join us. Uh, please, uh, Japanese language, please, Japanese culture. Enjoy. Yeah, Hi, okay. hello See. everyone. Welcome back. Uh, nice to meet you. How are you? Okay? Yeah, fine. Thank you. I'm Hiroshi Nakano, living in Tokyo. I'm the author and writer, 33 books. Yeah, these are my books. And um, I'm professor, yeah, many, many students. I teach uh, business, I teach uh, emotional intelligence, yeah, maybe, uh, etc. And uh, YouTuber. YouTuber is, uh, I have the four channel, uh, four kind of channel. Yeah, main channel is uh, 150,000 subscribers in Japan, maybe in, in Japanese language, yeah. You know, uh, if you understand Japanese language, uh, you try the, this, uh, subscribe this. And, uh, yeah, this booktube, the name of booktube, okay? Yeah, and, uh, this channel is a Japanese guide, a uh, guide to Japanese culture and Japanese custom and language. Today's topic is how to say colors. How to say colors, okay? I talk about the English and later the Japanese. Yeah, you know, uh, Japanese have uh, four type of characters. Kanji, Hiragana, Katakana, and Romaji, yeah? Romaji is uh, like an uh, alphabet, like, like uh, English, yeah? yeah? For example, white, okay? White. And uh, Japanese language is shiro, shiro. And, yeah, this is hiragana, shiro. And kanji, kanji is like a Chinese character, similar, yeah? Shiro. White is shiro, mm, shiro, yeah. This is shiro. And black, yeah, this paint is black. Black is kuro. Black is kuro, okay? And red. Red is, yeah, this is red. Red. Aka. Yeah, this color is aka, okay? Aka. And blue, yeah, blue is blue. Blue is ao. Blue is 
青 and yellow. Yeah, like it says yellow. Yeah, yellow is kilo. Yellow is kilo. And green. Yeah, this is green. Green is midori. Green is midori. Okay. And seven and uh, gold. Yeah, gold is king. Yeah, gold is king. Yeah, like it's king. Okay. Yeah, okay. Once again, repeat after me, okay? White is shiro, black is kuro, red is aka, blue is ao, yellow is kiro, green is midori, and gold is king. Okay? Practice makes perfect, you right? Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, it's difficult for you as uh, a foreign people because uh, Japanese have four type of characters. Uh, as, as I told you, uh, Romaji, Hiragana, Katakana, and Kanji. Kanji is a similar Chinese character, yeah? So, if you try the, this again, and this video, try uh, make uh, several times, okay? You practice makes perfect Japanese, okay? Today is topic is what? How to say colors, okay? If you are interested in the Japanese character or Japanese uh, custom language, please subscribe yeah, to YouTube. This, okay? I have the four type of YouTube channel. Our main channel is a 100, 100, about 150,000 subscribers, okay? Yeah, the other YouTube channel is about uh, 20,000, okay? And yeah, this channel is but uh, only just uh, 200 or 202, okay? But uh, this channel is uh, for you. For you and foreigner people, because uh, I try to speak uh, Japanese culture or Japanese custom. Okay, yeah. Please subscribe this channel. Okay, okay. Today's topic is onigiri. Onigiri is. Do you know onigiri? Yeah, this is onigiri, and this is onigiri. Yeah. We Japanese love onigiri, so I talk about uh, explain the onigiri. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, ready. Uh, what is onigiri? Onigiris are rice balls. They are made by forming cooked rice into flattened triangular or round shape. Onigiri are filled with tuna and mayonnaise, chopped Japanese pickles, dried bonito flakes, cooked kelp pieces, or a pickled plum, and are wrapped with a large sheet of dried nori seaweed, okay? Yeah. Now, uh, this is uh, tuna mayo, tuna mayonnaise, okay? This, this is uh, onigiri, and I, we take the convenience store, or uh, yeah, the, make a, yeah, very easy, easy to use, yeah? This is rice bowl, okay? This is rice bowl, uh, brown, brown rice and seaweed, okay? And this is a, uh, it's very typical Japanese onigiri. It's very easy to, yeah, like this. Yeah, yeah. Jan, 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 this is onigiri, yeah. Yeah, like this, uh, yeah. Uh, we Japanese are uh, dish dishes on the onigiri on the dishes, okay? So, uh, do you think uh, the onigiri and sandwich? Yeah. My friend of says uh, and in the United States, uh, American people uh, ask me, um, Mr. Hiro, uh, Mr. Nakano, do you think onigiri are uh, comparable to sandwiches? Okay, I tell, uh, I tell him, yes, I do. The ideas are very similar in that both are portable and eaten by hand. And uh, ideal food as lunch or a snack. They both have grilled versions too. Although grilled onigiri are much simpler with no filling inside. Grilled onigiri are popular menu item at izakaya do you know izakaya yeah izakaya yeah i talk about izakaya please check the izakaya videos okay thank you for listening and uh, 
My name is Hiroshi Nakayama again, and please subscribe to this channel because uh, I try. I am not a good English speaker, but I try. Maybe in the future, maybe I hope next year, I'm. I will be a YouTuber in English all over the world. <laughs> please subscribe this. Okay, thank you for. And this is onigiri. Yeah, itadakimasu. Yeah, itadakimasu is a. Um, Mm, mm, yummy, mm, mm, very yummy. You try the onigiri, okay? Thank you for listening. Hi, hello, everybody. Nice to meet you. And how are you? Good. I'm very fine. I'm not a good English speaker, but I try. This channel is a guide to Japanese culture or Japanese custom and language. So, if you are interested in the Japanese culture, please subscribe to this channel, okay? Okay, let's start. What is izakaya? Do you know izakaya or have you ever been to izakaya? Uh, you are in United States, you are in Malaysia, you are in Thailand, or you are in Philippines. Yeah, izakaya is everywhere that maybe I guess all over the world. Yeah, I let you less uh, izakaya, I explain the izakaya, okay? Yeah, okay, again. Okay. What is izakaya? It's the Japanese tavern, popular places, and food. Food and drink. Oh, drink too much. <laughs> izakaya. Okay. Okay. I explain in detail. Uh, izakaya are Japanese, Japanese taverns. They serve various kinds of food and drinks at reasonable, yeah, it's point, reasonable prices. So cheap. Izakaya are popular places for having drinking parties of after hour drinking. Sessions among company colleagues, yeah, yeah, Japanese style, yeah, company, yeah, 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 but, uh, and friends and family, okay? And uh, many izakaya serve small dishes like food, yeah, small dishes automatically. They are called tsukidashi, yeah, it's typical Japanese way, the tsukidashi means uh, automatically drinks uh, small dishes, okay? And add it to the bills and charge your bills, okay? And kind of table charge. So, izakaya is a typical Japanese way, um, the tabeloon. The, not tabeloon, okay. And, uh, for izakaya and English pub, yeah. My English friends uh, told me, Mr. Nakano, please let me know the, what is difference, izakaya and English pub. Okay, I explain in detail. Most izakaya serve a wide variety of cuisine from Japanese to Italian. A group of customers often share as uh, dishes among themselves. So, small plates are ready on the table. Also, customers usually pay upon order at English pubs, but at izakaya, the total bill is settled at the end. Do you understand the difference? Yeah, Japanese style is uh, together and uh, sharing the beers. But, uh, you know, an uh, English pub is a uh, counter and uh, pay by check and drink by check. Okay? So, the difference. Do, do you understand what I said? Yeah, sorry, I'm not a good English speaker, but I try, try, try. Next time, please, uh, Welcome back again, okay? And subscribe, Jis. Bye.